Okay. Do you want to have more kids or you think you're tapped out? <laughs> okay, you're good. You got two, you know. Yeah. You can. What about you? Um, when I'm 30 and if I find the right guy, yeah. So marriage and kids. And, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll still be doing OnlyFans then or do you think you'll have made enough money to... Um, if I'm still enjoying the platform and everything, mm -hmm. then I'd just still keep going. But if not, then I'd hope to be able to retire by okay. that point. I'd like to do like OF work and anything on that platform for as long as I can before I start a family. And then I feel like once I get settled down, have a husband and have some kids, it's when I'm going to get off the platform. Okay. But you do want kids. You do want to get married. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, personally for me, I'm pretty hesitant on having kids just because I think that having kids is, you know, extremely difficult. It takes a lot of power, a lot of patience, persistence, love, all of that. So I think I'm, I'm more hesitant on having kids. But as for marriage, super down for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like to have kids and also get married too. That'd be a dream. <laughs> I think I'd like to get married, but not in the near future. Um, it would have to be when I'm older and I feel more yeah. prepared. Um, and technically, I have been engaged in the past and it just didn't work out. So I would like to wait a long time. Um, and I would only have kids with the right person, the right person. But you would have kids given it's the right person. Oh, yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. Do you, you want kids? Yeah, I do. I just think it's hard to find the right person to raise children with. Sure. Yeah. I think I'm the stepmom type. Stepmom? Stepmom. Well, you type. already have kids, right? Yeah, I don't want more kids. Yeah. Um, um, at least in the next, like, 20 years or so, I don't think I want kids. I I'm probably going to freeze my eggs. Um, but also, I question my ability to get, I question my ability to, like, to get pregnant because I have been raw dogging it. Probably not the best, but. What? <laughs> are you, well, are you on birth control? No, because I've had a really bad reaction to it lately. So, pull out. Uh, yeah, Jesus, take the wheel right now. Yeah. But like, has a guy full on blasted inside and still not gone pregnant, or? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So, okay, is that you? You said you're raw dogging it. Mm -hmm. Is he? Is he pulling out? Yes or no? Yeah, he pulls out. Oh. But then it's like there's been some mistakes. Yeah. Some. Some, some oopsies, you know. Oopsies, okay. But it's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's too good. I don't know. If, if the pullout game is on point, then I feel like it's pretty solid. Gorilla grip, too, too good. Gor okay, she's got the gorilla grip. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're speechless. We felt too. Like, we You're would thinking about that, right? They know. Yeah. We know. I'm not going to front, though. If, like, some, it, sometimes if it's too tight, you know. No, what? Well, like if it's don't. too tight? She's just not turned on, buddy. I'm sorry. No, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Wait, why is it, why is it not true? Why is it not true? <laughs> well, sometimes it's just like... Is, is there such thing as pussy that's too tight? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I ask, like, how, how long do you guys usually go down on a girl? Jason, you go first, and then I'll answer <laughs> this. I mean, I typically only do that with girls that I like like am in a relationship with how okay, long how long like how long will you be down there uh, i mean i'll say maybe like like five like five minutes that's a long time five minutes no boo, <laughs> boo. Mm. Too, Wait, too so short. Do, you, do you expect to receive head from girls that you don't want to have a relationship with like if you're having sex i mean i don't i don't expect it but if it happens i mean it, do you ask for it I mean, I have. I typically, uh, typically, it just happens, like kind of naturally. But you wouldn't give them head. Mm -hmm. Not a girl I just met. Yeah, no. Why? Because she might have been <laughs> someone like like two days ago or a day ago. Even if she's that. really hot. Even if she's really hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Would that not apply to you? What if the girl thinks that like, why would this guy ask me to suck his dick? What if he just fucked another girl? Before it's kind of different met? though. It's a little, it's a little different. It's it's a little different. Elaborate. It's like a bit Elaborate. different. I mean, because you guys have a hole. It's like an open wound. <laughs> well, you're open. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, what? What? It would be an inverse hole. I mean, guys would be an inverse hole. I mean, dicks are, like, dicks are pretty much just like, <laughs> no, We don't have smegma, skin. though. Wait, where do you pee out of? No, oh, dicks are out Jesus. of. Jesus. Where do you pee out of? My dick. What, 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 like pees out a, a hole? The urethra. The urethra. Yeah. I know, but yeah. Not, like, There's a hole. You're not like. Wait, did you go to college? Uh, some college. I dropped out. How'd you in biology? Oh like in God. high school? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, he did, so he did fantastic. <laughs> he did great. All right, so I'll, I'll answer the question. I haven't gone down on a girl since the Bush administration, so that was 2000. Oh, no. 
2007, 2008. Why would you admit that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. That I'm makes telling the one truth. of us. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I don't really like it. There's, I, there's some other reasons too. There's some other reasons. Just not a, not a fan of it, you know? Uh, hmm. You're not a cunnil cunnilingus. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not a cunnilingus? Yeah. I didn't know that was a noun or what. I don't know. But um, no, nah, just not really into it. What it's are you into? What? You mean sexually? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, let me stay on kind of lingus for a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I feel like I have to qualify my statement a bit here. So, you know, neck hurts the neck a little bit. Neck pain. Okay. You don't think uh, yeah. Just also kind of echoing what Jason was saying. Honestly, I don't even do that. I don't even do it in relationships. Not gonna front, but like, a like a first time thing, like first time meeting her. It's it's an L if you do that, because if she's fucking another, like, look, you, we, we guys, we guys, we know it's 2022. People are just fucking, like, people are sleeping with multiple partners at the same time. I would not feel comfortable, frankly. I let, let me not sugarcoat it. I would feel disgusted going down on a girl who just got fucked by another guy yesterday and he came inside her. To me, that would just be like gross. You don't like marinated nut? <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> disgusting. There's protein in there. <laughs> I don't care the nutritional makeup. I, I don't mean, care if it's the fountain of youth. I mean, <laughs> actually, there are some men that are into like sloppy seconds. Like they'll just like you know eat it right mm. afterwards. They're like, ooh, food. I don't know. I don't think cum tastes that good. Guy, I think y'all are speaking on like oh, exceptions wow. to the rule. I don't think <laughs> there, most guys. guys are not yeah. like stoked to be like, all right, I'm gonna have a fucking meal now from the dude she banged the other day before. Even if it's my first time with a girl, like yeah, it's it's just. And there's no even like expectation at that point of any sort of loyalty. It's just, I don't, I don't want to do it. In fact, I, if, if a girl's with another guy, I don't want really anything to do with her at all. So I don't want to fuck, even if we use a rubber, I don't want to kiss, I don't want to make out. I don't want to do anything. It's a wrap. Okay, yeah. First date, like first date. If, if I know that you're seeing another dude, there was another dude the weekend before, it's a wrap. And by the way, I want to make something clear. It's, I don't have a double standard on this. A girl can have the exact same standard. If she wants a guy to come to her proper single and not be like a whole bunch of girls, totally fine. I think that's totally fine. But speaking for me, yeah, if a girl is hooking up with another guy, sometimes they're hooking up with multiple other guys, whether it, or I don't know, I, I don't know if I have a time period set like, oh, it's, it has to have been a month or some shit. Maybe I should start a quarter. It needs to be a quarter, three months. I don't know. But uh, that's maybe a bit excessive. I don't know. But So I have a question. How would you know? Like, what if she, like, what if you went down on someone and, like, she lied to you before and was like, oh, no, I'm proper single. Like, I haven't done anything in a while. Like, she went she went down on someone? Uh, yeah, but she did go down on someone, but she lied to you and then, like, you do it with her. And like, and you found out. What mm -hmm. if like it was the best night of your life, but then you found out that she was doing it to someone else? The best sex? Yeah. I mean, I know what I'm doing, so like, I can have great sex with. Give me a, like a virgin. I can have great sex with a girl who's a virgin. Hmm. Okay. Like, so. So like, how would you like know the difference? Like, how would you, like how can you tell that like a girl has like done it like the weekend before? Like, the only way you can know is if she told you, right? Yeah. I mean, she can tell me. I mean, there's other sort of indicators that you can sort of, you can look at or suss out to see, like, her degree of promiscuity. So is but some girls are f***ing great liars, so, I mean. Men and, too. 